anyone who knows me or watches my YouTube channel knows one thing about me, one big thing. I have a serious love for swimming pools, particularly venues like this. I mean, look at this place. It's amazing. Yeah. The Cody Miller limited edition Peru t-shirt is still available. There's only a few left, so if you guys wanna go get yours, go to CodyMillerSwim.com and get yours now. My quick plug out of the way, without further ado. So I haven't checked out this section of the village yet, so let's go poke around and see what it's all about. So they've got a bunch of stores with gifts and stuff. Pretty empty right now. These guys are jamming out hard over here. Oh my. God. Look at how cute these guys are. They're so cute. It's so soft. I love the llamas everywhere. They're just adorable. So here's another one of these Lima 2019 signs. And that down there is where the concerts are like every night. Late at night, this place gets packed with people. They even have a hair salon in this place. Look, that dude's getting his hair cut right there. Food trucks and drink stations and all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty much it. I can't tell you how badly I wanted to try the food truck food over there. They have stir fry, but we've been told not to eat this food until we're done competing just to be completely safe, so. That place is absolute madness at nighttime. Everybody trading pins and stuff and now we know what's in there i haven't sat in one of these hammocks yet i think it's time all right whoa 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 this is kind of weird it's a pretty nutty view though Just finished our race. Second, first, third. We're about to get medals. It's gonna be really cool. Look at the little mascot we get. Look at it. Is it soft? Oh, it's rock solid. It's kind of chaos back here. Everyone's just waiting to go up, get on the podium. We got our medal. Good job. Congrats. Good swim. Good swim. That was a fun race. We just got our medal. Super cool, the crowd's going crazy. This is a really cool experience. Never forget this. Woo! Pretty cool. Look at this thing's rock solid. Hello. There is a section over there with like several Cody Miller signs. Allie's over there somewhere. Yeah, it's got a cool design on it. The Lima on the back right there. Nice. Normally it's like a stuffed toy, but it looks, it's got, it's heavy. It's really cool. I know, I know. Look at this little guy. I've got to warm down, probably gonna do like a 600, then get on the massage table real quickly, and then I've got a drug test in about 30 minutes. I think they're testing all the medalists, and hopefully drug testing isn't too backed up. Isn't it so cool? Right? Easily the coolest like toy thing that I've ever gotten from from yeah, a meet. Like, you'll, you'll definitely hold on to this. Look at that thing. It's all about the behind the scenes. I warmed down like a 400. I've got 10 minutes before I'm in, gotta be in doping control. These lovely ladies are working super hard on me. It's 11.24. I'm on the bus, which is pretty much empty. I'll probably be in bed around 1 a.m. depending on how long this bus ride takes. It was a good night. And we are rolling into the village now. It's just past midnight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. And this is the dining hall at midnight. <laughs> Gold medalist. <laughs> I really want to go to the <laughs> Crushed it. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's past midnight, well past midnight. This is easily the latest I've been out. Since being here, this is easily the most peaceful the village has looked to me. Tonight was a really, really, really fun time. Like, I very much enjoyed myself. Just the feeling of being behind the blocks, about to race, 
the energy, the atmosphere, like the crowd was so like energetic and happy to be there. Um, representing Team USA at a high level meet like this, I'll never take for granted again after missing some teams and having really bad seasons. I just feel like everything I get to do now is kind of icing on top. And although my time wasn't as fast as I would have liked it to be tonight, the time was a little bit disappointing. But ultimately, winning a medal is amazing. You know, winning a silver medal for, for myself, for my teammates, for my country, everything feels really, really good. And like at the end of the day, how can I be upset with taking home a silver medal for the United States? You know what I mean? This experience I'm not going to sour just because the result wasn't quite what I wanted to be. You know, obviously I would have loved to win gold, obviously I would have loved to have a faster time, but all that aside, I think more important than those things are the experience and just enjoying everything, enjoying being here. Like, I mean, look at where I'm at, you know? And I'm, I'm surrounded by such wonderful people, amazing teammates, amazing coaches, therapists, all kinds of people. They're wonderful. And I'm very, very grateful. I feel very thankful. I feel very grateful. I feel honored and humbled to be here. Um, I'm really excited and looking forward to the rest of the meet. I'm just excited to, to keep racing, um, just to be here. And, and kind of like what I said, just kind of enjoy the moment. Like I'm just, I'm trying to enjoy this. Um, and, and it's, it's, it's awesome. Some of my roommates are water polo players. Oh boy, my least favorite thing in the world. Oh, throw the ice in. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you for my pain. Another. Ah, I'm not racing tonight, so I came in, warmed up, got a little, little massage, and now. <laughs> Nice ice bath. Do you have a, a vlog or something? I have a vlog on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter watches it. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Does. Well, you're gonna be in it now, so. I don't ice bath very often, but I'm kind of sore, which I think is from the bus rides. So here we are. Another. Another. Would you like more? <sighs> Sixty more seconds. Almost done. And I'm tapping out. Tapping out. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now that that pain and suffering is over, I'm gonna get in a hot shower, warm myself back up. <sighs> Now this is what I'm talking about. This is nice. So this is what it's like in the stands. It's kind of crazy. We're getting ready for the last relay of the session. I see a Cody Miller vlog sign right there. Walking into the dining hall and there's just always craziness. Look at this. You never know what you're gonna run into out here. Head into the pool now. Tonight I've got the 4x100 mixed medley relay. So there are just stray dogs everywhere in the village. Just everywhere, roaming around, minding their own business. There is a straight up concert going on over there right now. It, this village is insane. Relay time, Margo and I are on the mixed relay right now. It's about to go down. It's our first time ever being on a relay together. It's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a fun one. Here is the ready room. Everyone's slapping themselves and stuff. Let's go, Margo! Let's go, USA! Go! Let's go, Margo! Go! Yeah! Woo! Let's go, Margo! Go, Margo! Woo! You went so fast for where you were, <laughs> in between those two guys. You that guys was awesome. Like, so, so, wait, wait, was it Margo and I that got picked for drug tests? I didn't I'm get a credit. Oh, you're picked. Dang it! You're the lucky one. Is it Tom? Yeah, Tom, do you have a drug test? So I'm in a really, really old church, and the majority of it has been converted into this hotel in Cusco. It's about 7 a.m., and Allie's still sleeping, and I needed a quiet place to finish a video, and so this will work. The meet ended several days ago. Um, I'm now in Cusco City. The first half of the meet was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. And then, unfortunately, our relay was disqualified, for those of you that have been following. And then things really went downhill. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to 
even upload a video this week. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use all of the footage that I did shoot for this vlog. But then I realized that I, I, despite what happened and despite everything that's kind of going on with me, um, I wanted people to see how fun it is, or it, I was having. Um, I wanted people to see the joy of winning, you know, a, a, a medal at a high level meet like this. Um, I wanted people, I wanted to take people through it. I wanted people to experience it. And now on the flip side, I want people to see a little bit of the other side as well, right? And so long story short, I haven't been doing really well that. Good morning. Sorry, I'm just talking to a camera. Don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> and so anyway, like the last week, it's been just terrible and disastrous for me. Um, and I'm going to unpack that. I'm going to go into what happened, the rest of the me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dive into that stuff and address things that I've never really addressed before. But not right now. I will get into that in a few weeks, but right now, I'm gonna take two weeks of vacation, spend time with Allie, clear my head and just kinda get away from everything. Um, I, I really need that personally. We've got a lot of really exciting things planned to do down here in South America. Allie and I are gonna climb some mountains, visit some really cool places, and so I'm gonna take this vacation time to like clear my head, um, stay the hell away from all social media, to those of you that have been supportive of me, thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope the people that have been watching my videos have enjoyed the content that I've put out there throughout all of this, um, and there's a lot more to come, so. I got a guy playing the piano like maybe six feet away from me. That's nuts. I just ate breakfast. Now I'm gonna see if Allie's awake. Ew, these stairs are no joke. We're at about 12,000 feet of elevation, so the altitude is real. I am an Olympic athlete, and it only takes a few stairs to really tire me out. I don't wanna end this video on too much of a downer. So I will say, Allie and I are gonna spend at least another week down here in South America, traveling around. We're gonna have fun, despite the fact that I'm hurting mentally. Um, we're gonna have fun and gonna get through this. And as I said, I'll talk more about this later on. But for now, I'm gonna go try and have some fun. I will vlog some of our trip and show you guys in a future video. And so yeah, until my next video, I will see you guys later.